morning everybody, Big Mister here, and it is time for breakfast. That's right. Today we're going to be making a spicy hash brown stack. This is going to be some homemade hash brown panties with sausage, avocado, some egg, maybe a little sauce on the side. It's going to be something good. Now before we get started on it, please, please ask you to hit that subscribe button if you like the videos that I've been doing. I'm always trying to grow our channel and hit that like button. You know it helps you know, with that YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much, I appreciate it. Now let's take a look at the ingredients we're gonna be using today. Now the first thing we need to do is to grate our potatoes. I've given these a good wash. I've got uh, box grater here, that's the one I use. My suggestion is, if you got a helper in the kitchen, get somebody else to do this, but if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Obviously I have a one man operation here, so I'm gonna get this done by myself. I'm just gonna get these all graded up and we'll move on to the next step. Now once you're done grating the potatoes, what you're going to do, get all that out of there, you want all of them, don't waste anything. Once you're done with this, you're going to put them in a strainer, and you're going to take them over to the sink and give them a good rinse, you want to rinse off some of that starch that's on there. So, head it over to the sink. And once you're done giving those a rinse, you want to give the potatoes a good squeeze to get all the moisture out of them. So the water coming out. You want to squeeze all that out because as you know, water and hot oil just don't like each other. Make sure that we don't have any explosive consequences when we go to fry all this up. Now let's start putting together some of the other ingredients for the hash browns. We're going to use half an onion, just a half of a medium onion. Always like to leave the root in on. Keeps it from running away from me while I'm cutting. A quick peel. comments about my cutting technique. Do what gets it done. cut there to make sure we get them all down to the same size. Just all that in there. I don't know about you, but I like potatoes and onions together. They're just an amazing combination. And we're going to add one jalapeno. Seeded. Don't really want any seeds in your hash brown. You can add more if you like, but my family is kind of wimpy. They don't like the stuff that's too spicy. In fact, you probably don't even want to tell them that the jalapeno is in there. Counting on y'all to keep it a secret. The stems out there. Ah. 
We got all those fancy gadgets, but nothing's better in the kitchen than a good sharp knife. If you want to invest in anything, invest in a good knife. And there's a, a shun that my wonderful wife got for me. And I tell you, I use it every day. Okay, got that mix in there. Now we're gonna add our seasoning mix. This is one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and a half teaspoon each of cayenne and white pepper. Give that good sprinkle there. Give it a mix. Sure, you get your seasoning all throughout the potatoes and onions there. More there. Next, I'm going to add one quarter cup plus one tablespoon of regular all-purpose flour. We're also going to add one egg as a binder. Now, you got to stir! Should look okay so I have about three tablespoons of oil here in my skillet nice and hot shimmery as they say just a little bit of smoke coming off of it's nice and hot it's over a medium high heat and we are going to start frying let's, let's take some of our potatoes here Ooh, that's gonna be a big one I'm gonna kind of shape it into a square then. And we are gonna fry until it's golden brown and delicious. For about three minutes, we're gonna give these a turn. Try not to splash yourself. Oh, yes, baby. Golden, brown, and delicious. A nice crispy outside. Check this other one here. I have to say, I am happy with the color of these. Gonna get these eggs going. Got a little knob of butter in there melting. Let's get these eggs in there. Right.
always like to spoon some of that hot butter over the top. Make sure we get all the whites cooked. And while I do like runny yolks, I'm not crazy about running white. Alright, I think we're just about ready to put this together. Alright, let's assemble our stacker so we can eat. Let's take one of our hash browns here. And add one of our sausages. You know what? Let's go with the avocado first. I think it'll work better this way. Got some nice avocado there. Sausage on top. Then, oh, Friday. Got a little smoked salsa there on the side. I think we are ready to go. appreciate it y'all if you got a second click that subscribe button click the notification bell join the notification squad so you know every time i put out a new video love y'all i'm about to be deuces <laughs>